7 News Digital News Desk update starts now. Hi everyone, Jeff Cole here at the 7 News Digital News Desk to bring you an update of things that we are learning about the Lowville School District and the situation that the district is in in regards to the flooding that hit earlier this week and what it has done to the school. We kind of have an idea now of what the upcoming school year will be like, at least when it begins or how they begin. There's a letter that Rebecca Dunkel has sent out to the community. So let's take a look at that letter and you can see data yesterday that it starts out saying it is with disappointment we inform our parents and community that the Lowville Elementary School has experienced flooding damage for the second time this summer. The first time was in July, the second time this past week. And looking at the letter some more, we have some excerpts here that will pull out the kindergarten and first grade rooms, according to Dunkel, are currently not suitable for students and staff, and we cannot guarantee that they will be in time for the first day of school. That is in just a couple of weeks. The letter does continue to say that the school district is working diligently to arrange alternate locations for instruction. So some disappointment disappointing news here with what's going on with those rooms. Remember that a lot of the repairs from the first flood were being made. New floors were being installed after drying the school out, but then the floodwaters again came back this week and kind of starting over for the elementary school. Dunkel goes on to say that currently the turf field and playgrounds cannot be used. Remember the, all of that flood water coming onto the turf field. I'll play you some video here from earlier this week when it was pouring onto the turf field. Wow, I cannot believe this is happening again. That's amazement by Shannon Williams as she reported that video. This looks like what it looked like back in July. But this was just earlier this week as the floodwaters returned after another rainstorm hit Lowville. And finally, back to that letter, you can see that Dunkel says, We recognize the frustration and inconvenience this causes for our families and appreciate your understanding and patience as we navigate these circumstances. So that is the update that we have from the Lowville School District with a letter that went out to the community yesterday from the superintendent describing the challenges at the school district and primarily the elementary school, what that building is facing, the kindergarten and first grade classrooms not suitable for students and staff, and the district now looking for alternate locations to do some instruction. And uh, they're not sure if those rooms specifically will be ready for the first day of school. And so that district now looking for other areas to be able to hold classes. We're going to continue to follow this story as we move through the day, but that is the update that we have right now here at the 7 News Digital News Desk. I'm Jeff Cole.